I've been looking for a four jaw chuck ever since I got this lane back in November last year. I finally found one, but it was from an MCO Super 11, which has a DIN 55021 size 3 spindle. And uh, my MCO Maximat V10P has a DIN 800 spindle, which has a M39 by 4 threaded chuck mount. I had picked up an original MCO chuck adapter plate from uh, eBay a long time ago, anticipating that I would need it one day. These do not grow on trees, unfortunately. But I needed to make an intermediate adapter plate to fit between the new chuck and the original uh, chuck adapter plate. I was in luck and found a piece of stock that had previously been used as some sort of a, uh, adapter plate and it was the perfect size for my new adapter. The uh, workpiece uh, had a protruding stub that I could use for holding it while turning the face that makes the original chuck adapter plate. I used a transfer punch to mark out the mounting holes in the adapter plate from the original adapter plate. After which I could mount the original adapter plate to the intermediate adapter plate. Then I mounted the assembly on the lathe and turned the side that would mate to the chuck. The DIN55021 uses a short tapered nose with a taper of 7 degrees, 7 minutes and 30 seconds which is 7.125 degrees. I turned a 3mm nose with the correct taper that the chuck registers on. Then it was time to drill the three holes for mounting the chuck to the intermediate uh, adapter plate. Since I do not have a rotary table, a dividing head nor a DRO, I drew the part in SOLIDWORKS and printed a drawing of it and the bolt pattern. Then I cut out the middle so it would register on the turn taper center section and glued it to the work. Then I drilled out and counter countersunk the holes and mounted the intermediate adapter plate to the chuck. Followed by the original adapter plate being mounted to the back of the chuck and intermediate adapter plate. Finally here's a short clip of me indicating in a random piece of stock to see how I did. As it turned out. It worked pretty well. Thanks for watching. I'll try to shoot more video next time.